Hello everyone and welcome to Robot Fight Club. My name is Lucas. In today's video, I'm going to be showing how to make a simple removable power link using only a male and female JST connector. Let's get into it. Robot Fight Club. Okay, so when you have a combat robot, you need a way to shut it on and off. And probably the thing that would come to mind for most people would be a simple switch like this. These are super cheap and easy to find and you will probably already have a few around. So you wonder, why can't I just use this? Well, in the heat of a battle, this switch will usually get turned off very easily. And thus, your robot will be knocked out without having actually suffered any real damage. So you need an alternative option. And if you want to use a switch, you're going to have to buy a screw switch, which is much more solid and hard to disable but they usually are much more expensive and if you buy one it's usually around seven bucks which is a lot of money for a little tiny switch and then there's also a power link which is usually a really cheap option but why buy one when you can just make your own out of stuff you might already have lying around so today i'm going to be showing how to make a removable power link using a male and a female jst plug commonly used in batteries and other electronic projects so you will probably already have one lying around. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so by now you can probably already guess what I'm going to do and it's pretty obvious how this is gonna work. All I'm gonna do is connect these two wires together and that will make a circuit in there. And that way when I put the other JST plug along the line for our power and I plug this into it, it'll complete the circuit and will allow the robot to turn on. All right, to do this, just remove a little bit of insulation from the ends of the wires. And then I have a piece of heat shrink tubing. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that down and slide it onto one of the wires. And then go ahead and splice these two wires together. Once you have those together, you can go ahead and put a little bit of solder onto the wires to ensure they stay together and it keeps a good circuit. And now it is done and all you have to do is plug it into the other JST and you have your circuit. And it doesn't matter if you use the male or female, either one will serve the same purpose. I just chose to use the male. Okay, now for a demo, we have our motor and a power supply and our JST female plug wired into one of the wires for this motor and then as you can see when I plug in the power link it starts up the motor and when I remove it it goes off so same principle but just hook this up before your receiver and then you will have your power switch the way you need it and that will not come out in combat these JST plugs stand very well so you can just leave that there without any worries of it coming out and when you need to remove it you can just pull on these wires those are secured in pretty well so you can just pull on those and take it out so very easy very simple and very obvious so there you have it how to make a super cheap and easy power link for your combat robot to make it legal and work well if you enjoyed the video or if it was helpful to you, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time on Robot Fight Club.